Well, let's get to it. Niners and Cowboys. Remember, the Niners have ended this Cowboys season in 2021 and in 2022. So motivation here for Dallas is self-explanatory. You've got the Niners favored by three and a half. Tank, what are you looking at in this one? Yeah, so I'm going to give y'all another SGP. I'm going to try to give the people more money for free. I'm going Tony Pollard plus 45 rush yards, CD Lamb plus 50 receiving yards. And if you get that, you get plus 100 money. And so it's pretty simple. Like Tony Pollard, he's going over this number uh, every week so far in the NFL season. And CD Lamb is going over this number in three or four games. I understand that San Francisco defense is tough, but these matchups for them isn't really that bad when you look at it on paper. And think more importantly than anything else is that they need to take pressure off of Dak. If Dak ends up feeling pressure that he has to do too much, that's when he turns the ball over. So they're going to lean on Tony Pollard. They're going to try to get some easy throws in the CD early. And I believe when you go at that recipe, this should kind of bank out rather easily for y'all. So go ahead and soup up some of this plus money. Funston, I felt like I'd be cheating on my homework if I did double down again in this block. So why don't you tell the people about your prop because I really like it. Yeah, yeah, it's one brand appreciating another brand, and this is Brandon Ayuk. And Tank mentioned yeah. that this matchup is not as bad on the uh, Dallas side. It's not as bad on the San Francisco side either. You look at Dallas down Trayvon Diggs, Micah Parsons banged up. They're not among the elite in pressure rates. So I think it's just all going towards Brandon Ayuk having another big day. I de definitely think he'll get over 57 and a half receiving yards. He's been over 120 in two of his games. The other game, he had three catches for 43 yards. He hurt his shoulder on the first catch in that game finished out the game, then missed the next week, came back and had the big game. So he was legit hurt in the other one. But I think he's going to be putting the hurt on this Dallas secondary. And Debo Samuel has a knee injury, so I don't think he's going to be as big of a target in this game. I'm going to use him still, Brandon. Just take 50-plus receiving yards, and I'm going to add it with a Christian McCaffrey touchdown and get that extra juicy there for you at plus 155 because CMC has now Ooh. scored in 11 consecutive games, even San Francisco's postseason games. So, obviously, Obviously, he's getting in the end zone. That one's a given. He had four last week. Let's get to Ayuk and just build on what Brandon was talking about there. Brock Purdy really loves to throw to him in big moments. They've connected 17 times this season. All of those have either resulted in a first down or a touchdown. The guy is absolutely one of his favorite targets. He's averaged 106.7 yards per game. So love this little SGP here. And you're getting a little seduced by the juice with the plus 155.